I'm Brad Palmer and thank you for watching Time Warner Cable's local edition. We are joined by Gloria Negretti McLeod. She's a member of the California State Senate, also a candidate for Congress. That election will be held in June. And I want to speak with you about some state issues, though. Right. As you know, our state has uh, suffered significant budget deficits. And the governor is proposing an initiative whereby sales tax would go up for four years. Uh, taxes on high income earners would go up for seven years. What's your sense of that initiative, which will be on November's ballot? Well, uh, it, according to the latest polls, is that 64 percent, no, 54 yeah. percent are approve it, and so I think you need a higher percentage of to get an initiative out. But his is not the only one on the ballot. There's another one, well, the Molly Munger one. Let's talk about the Molly Munger initiative, which is much different. It is an initiative that would tax every, it would increase taxes on everyone poor, middle class, wealthy. Uh, a lot of folks are angry about that initiative on the left and the right. The, the right says it's, it's just we can't tax right now. The left says it's regressive. What does uh, Senator McLeod say? Well, we hope that the governor's uh, initiative passes because then it covers some of education, but it's not only for education, it's also for other things. Kind of uh, cover that hole that we have in the budget. Molly Mungers goes straight to education, but then that presents a bigger hole because of Prop 98. Right, that which guarantee. mandates certain yes. funding. Yes. I want to go back to the people. Uh, you mentioned a poll, and yes, a poll recently came out, and it actually showed that support for the governor's initiative is, is dropping a bit. It's still at a majority, which is what you need, 50% plus one. But what's interesting is there was overwhelming support for taxing the wealthy. But then when they asked, would you like to have sales tax increase by a quarter cent for four years? Not so much. What do you say to voters about that? I, I think people always really ca don't care if you tax the next guy. Of course. But don't tax me. Tax the next of guy. Course, of course. And yet everybody wants services. So what this will do, uh, the governor's uh, initiative will put money into education and to public safety. And, and when you talk about putting money into education, as you I'm sure you know, you have some Cal States in your own district. The Cal State system has said, that they are waiting to see what happens with this initiative. Uh, and they are going to wait list every single applicant this fall until they know what happens with the initiative. Because if the initiative fails, they're going to have to decrease enrollment dramatically. The consequences are pretty severe. Do you believe voters are hearing that? Or is it just, you know, we may be a, a blue state socially, but when it comes to fiscal matters, we're pretty right. Well, I think we're purple. Uh, on fiscal matters? <laughs> uh, even on fiscal matters. Depends where you're at. Most people do really believe in education. They really believe in funding education. Again, but it's fund education, but not through me. Yeah. Funded by somebody else. At the same time, we did mention there are two initiatives. And one comes from the left of center perspective, the other from the far left perspective. So what I'm wondering is, because you have two initiatives with uh, similar philosophies, are you concerned that people will just get confused vote no on both, and then we have nothing. We hope not. We hope that uh, people look at this seriously, uh, evaluate it, and understand that uh, one initiative goes straight to education, but without understanding the Prop 98, uh, the way it's Formula. funded, that then that there still be a hole in the budget. What about the concern Republicans have brought up, that Governor Brown is using education as kind of the straw man, and if the initiative fails, not all the cuts have to come from education. You could cut elsewhere and as a result where else can you cut the only place you can cut is human services and everybody that has come to my office and says well you know don't do this and i say you tell me where you want to cut do you want to cut uh, seniors do you want to cut the mentally handicapped and of course they all say no so no people do not understand that the cuts then come from the only place that they can is health and human uh, well, that's the only place it comes. Her name is Gloria Negretti McLeod, member of the California State Senate. I'm Brad Palmer. Thanks for watching Time Warner Cable Local Edition. Back to HLN.